Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Monday morning minutes for the week. I hope that your uh, day is going well. Uh, we are in the full swing of Advent. We we had uh, lit the first Advent candle yesterday during morning worship, the candle of hope. We had our lighting service in the evening for the new nativity set that is out in front of the church. So. Uh, that was that, that was fantastic to see, and thank you again to everybody who put in the time and the work to decorate and to build the stable and get it here and everything set up. Uh, it looks just just fantastic. It's a really, it really, really does. If you haven't seen it yet, please drive by the church uh, today, tomorrow evening, of course, when the lights come on. That would be a great time to see it. And being in the Christmas season means that we are in the full Christmas shopping mode. Uh, we are ordering things online. We are going to the stores and purchasing gifts so that on Christmas morning, uh, our family, our friends have nice, shiny new gifts under the tree. Of course, we want brand new things and bright packages and you know, wrapped in colorful wrapping paper. And, and we, we like new. We like shiny. But we are not. We are not. As human beings, we are not new. We are not shiny. Once, once we enter toddler phase, we've got bumps and we've got bruises and we've got dings. And even before toddler phase, we, we get sick. We, we run fevers. We have illnesses. Uh, it, it, we don't feel very new from, well, pretty much from the time that we can feel something for the rest of our lives. But that doesn't mean that we don't have worth. That doesn't mean that we don't have value. That doesn't mean that God doesn't love us, even though we're not brand new and shiny for pretty much our, our, the majority of our lives. Now, I got to do something this past weekend that I, I thought was pretty fun. I got to put together a stereo system. As we've been moving into our new house and we've been unpacking things and trying to figure out where everything goes, I got to pull out an old CD player and an old receiver and the speakers and everything that goes with them and then all of my old CDs that had been in the attic for well years years we got a little more room in the new house I got a little more room to put things and and I pulled out that old CD player and that old receiver and those old speakers and the CDs and put it all together and played music just 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 like back in the day when you put in a CD and you just sat on a couch and listened to music it was it was fantastic they really was. Our, our, our kids came up. They were dancing around the, whatever the song was that, um, that was playing at the time. And, and it, was, it was really fun. But I wasn't sure at first when we got that out if it was going to work. It had been in the attic for so long in the heat and then in the cold and everything else. And I was like, well, is this going to work? And so I put it together, hooked up all the wires. Oh, my goodness. So many wires. Bluetooth is a wonderful new invention. Uh, so many wires to do things the old way, though. And uh, had to find the remote. Had to find the remote control for the CD player. And I wasn't sure if that was going to work. It was a CD player that I bought in college. It is 25 plus years old. It was fantastic. You can put 25 CDs in this one CD player. So you don't have to constantly take a CD out and put a new one in and take one out and put one in. You can put 25 in at once. You can even hit random. It was like having your own radio station back in the day. But I found the remote. And it was pretty, pretty dinged up. It was pretty, pretty dirty. Uh, well... Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. There weren't any batteries in it. This isn't exactly the one, but it was like this. I opened up the little battery compartment. There were no batteries. It had no life in it whatsoever. Well, I will clean it up, clean off the dirt. Couldn't get rid of all the nicks and scratches and bumps. I put in new batteries, gave it new life. And then wouldn't you know it, I'm sitting there on Saturday evening, listening to CDs, changing it, with the remote, picking the song with the remote control. And I thought, you know, this is this is exactly what God does for us through the person and work of his son. He gives us new life. There, Here we are. We're dinged. We've got bruises. We've got bumps. We've made mistakes. There's no life in us outside of God. And God says, sorry, one second. You still have worth. You still have value. Let's see. Okay. You still have worth. You still have value. I'm going to clean you up. I'm going to put new batteries in you. I'm going to put the Holy Spirit in you. I'm going to give you new life. And you will be mine again. I will reclaim you for myself. And that all begins with the birth of the Savior of the world. It all begins with the birth of Jesus Christ. 
and the work that he did then 30 some years later on that cross when he offered himself on that cross to pay the penalty for our sins, to wash us clean with his blood, to give us new and eternal life by rising from the grave three days later. Because God says you might be broken, you might have bumps and you might have scratches and you might be a little bit dirty and there might not be any life in you, but you're mine. And I'm going to send my son so that I can reclaim you as mine, clean you up, fix you up, give you new life, give you new batteries, and you're going to work. So I hope you're having a great first week of Advent. I hope that your Christmas season is going well. Uh, we will hopefully see you Wednesday night for our last meet in the middle of the year or next Sunday for the second Sunday of Advent. God bless you and keep you, and we will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.